Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Soil here and today we're going to talk about rejection candles and we'll see how they help us to discover price levels that are rejected by the market participants. Stay tuned and let's get started. A rejection candle shows rejection of higher or lower prices. It tells us that the market participants pushed the price in one direction, but then it was rejected. A rejection candle generally has a short body, a very small or non-existent shadow or wick on one side, and a long shadow or wick on the other side. The color of the body doesn't matter as long as it's short, but if the color matches the direction of the rejection, it's better. For this rejection candle with a long upper shadow, it shows us that in that time period, the bulls pushed the price up considerably, but at the end, the bears took the control and drove the price to lower levels somewhere near the opening price. This candle shows us that while the bulls were in command and pushing the price up, but these high prices were rejected. There were no interested buyers at these prices, and the selling interest increased suddenly, and the price went down. This candle shows that buyers rejected these high prices. They saw it expensive, so the buying interest diminished at these high prices, and on the other hand, sellers saw it a good deal and started selling. This candle actually shows how the balance of power changed and shifted from bulls to bears and how the bears became the winner in that time period. This candle is generally considered bearish and it shows the possibility that the price is going to decline more. And for this rejection candle with a long lower shadow, we have the same interpretation but in the opposite direction. It shows that in that time period, the bears pushed the price down significantly but at the end, the bulls took the control and drove the price to high levels considerably somewhere near the opening price. This candle shows that while the bears were in command and pushed the price down, but these low prices were rejected. There were no interested sellers at these low prices and the buying interest increased suddenly and the price went to higher levels. This candle actually shows that sellers rejected these low prices. They saw it very cheap so not interested to sell and on the other hand, the buyers saw it a good deal to buy so started to buy. This candle actually shows how the balance of power changed and shifted from bears to bulls and how the bulls became the winner in that time period. This candle is generally considered bullish and it shows that probably the price is going to advance further. But please pay attention that rejection candles must form in areas on the chart that is worth rejecting. They must occur in areas that the rejection becomes meaningful and significant. This rejection candle has bullish meaning only if it forms somewhere in the bottom, for example, near a support level. Or this rejection candle has bearish meaning only if it forms somewhere in the top, for example, near a resistance level. Significant areas where the rejection candles become meaningful in those areas are previous swing highs and lows in support and resistance levels, trend lines, popular moving averages like moving averages with length of 50 or 200, Fibonacci retracement levels and at the end of extended trends where reversal happens. I'll explain them with examples later in this video. Please pay attention that as I described how a rejection candle looks like and what it means and how interpreted, we can have different kinds of rejection candles with their specific names and unique specifications. If you're familiar with different types of candles and patterns so you know them well, this rejection candle which I just explained that the rejection has meaning only if it forms in the bottom is called hammer. There can be a small upper shadow or in a perfect situation it's non-existent. If the body is a doji with small upper shadow it's called cross doji and if there is no upper shadow it's called dragonfly doji. And this rejection candle which I just explained that the rejection has meaning only if it forms somewhere in the top is called shooting star. There can be small lower shadow or can be non-existent in a perfect situation. If the body is a doji with small lower shadow it's called inverted cross doji and if there is no lower shadow it's called gravestone doji. I have a complete course in six episodes about different types of candles and patterns and their specifications and interpretation. I also put the link in the description of this video and I recommend you to watch it later so you better understand how to analyze candlestick chart. 
All right, now let's see some examples of rejection candles that form on different areas. As you can see on this chart, the price is in a trading range moving sideways between these support and resistance levels. As I just explained, we must care about rejection candles that form in areas where it's worth rejection. One of these areas that make rejection candles meaningful and significant is support and resistance levels. Here, as you can see at the resistance level, first we got a hammer candle which is considered bullish but for being at resistance level this rejection of lower prices that happened is not significant and conversely it has bearish meaning because somewhere near the resistance level we have signs of increased selling pressure the bears were strong that pushed the price down to this level and this candle is called hanging man for being here near the resistance level and after that we got a shooting star candle the price went up but at the end it was rejected this rejection of higher prices that happen at resistance level is very significant and it gives us the possibility that the price is going to decline if you pay attention a few candles later we got a cross doji which shows rejection of these low prices but because we are near resistance level this rejection is not significant and conversely it has bearish meaning as I just explained because somewhere near the resistance level we have signs of increased selling pressure the bears were strong that pushed the price down to this level and as you can see the price went down to our support level and here at the support level a rejection candle formed it's a hammer and this rejection of lower prices that happened at support level is very significant and it gives us the possibility that the price may advance and as you can see after that the price went all the way up to the resistance level Another areas where the rejection candles become significant are trend lines. For example, in a downtrend, the downtrend line acts as a resistance level. So if near this trend line, a rejection candle forms, I mean rejection of higher prices, the rejection is significant and we must pay attention to it. For example, here you can see that near this downtrend line, we have a rejection candle. It's a shooting star. The price went up to higher levels, but these higher levels were rejected. And this is happening around this resistance level, which makes it a significant signal that the price is possibly going to decline. And here again, at this resistance level, another rejection candle formed. It's an inverted cross doji. And this rejection of higher prices is significant because it's happening near this downtrend line which is acting as resistance level and as you can see the price went down after that we have the same situation for uptrends but in the opposite direction and there the trend line acts as a support level so rejection of lower prices near the trend line becomes meaningful and significant moving averages also sometimes act as support and resistance levels similar to trend lines so considering popular moving averages like moving averages with length of 50 or 200 is a good method to find out where the market participants show reaction for example here you can see that the price is in an uptrend with this moving average with length of 50 that is acting as support level as you can see so rejection of lower prices near this moving average is significant you can see that here at the touching point of the moving average line a hammer formed the price went down but it was rejected so it's a signal that the price may bounce and advance in the direction of the trend and here again near the moving average line dragonfly doji formed and it shows that these lower prices were rejected by the market participants and as you can see the price advanced after that Another areas where make the rejection candles significant are Fibonacci retracement levels. As you know, Fibonacci retracement levels act as support and resistance levels. So having a rejection candle in those areas can help us to discover any possible change in the forces of buyers and sellers. For example, here, as you can see, the price was declining to this point and then started advancing. And you can see that the price went up to somewhere between 61.8 eight percent and 78.6 percent and then these higher prices rejected and the candle closed lower than the 50 percent level this rejection of higher prices is very significant and it indicates that this movement is probably a correction or pullback and it's ending and the price is possibly going to decline and as you can see the price went down to this level
Also, rejection candles at the end of extended trends can show the possibility of reversal. For example, here you can see that the price is in an uptrend and here we got a rejection candle. The price went up to these higher levels but it was rejected and as you can see, after that the price changed its direction and a reversal formed on the chart. Please pay attention that entering only based on a candlestick pattern is not wise and you should never rely only on on candlestick patterns for your trading decisions, especially trades like this example that are against the direction of the market because they have more risk and we need more confirmation for any possible reversal and any trading decision against the direction of the market. So always remember that candlestick patterns alone are useless and you must use them in conjunction with other tools and concepts of technical analysis. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you found any value in this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.